overall, we still don't have the infection rate down as far as we need to. As in other countries, we have issues with the virus spreading in some hospitals and in care homes. Uh, and in some, the very clear advice we've received is that any change to our social, distance, uh, social distancing measures now would risk a significant increase in the spread of the virus. That would threaten a second peak of the virus and substantially increase the number of deaths. It would undo the progress that we've made to date and as a result would require an even longer period of the more restrictive social distancing measures. But based on this advice, which we very carefully considered, the government has decided that the current measures must remain in place for at least the next three weeks. We've just come too far, we've lost too many loved ones, we've already sacrificed far too much to ease up now, especially, especially when we're beginning to see the evidence that our efforts are starting to pay off. And your efforts are paying off. There is light at the end of the tunnel, but we're now at both a delicate and a dangerous stage in this pandemic. If we rush to relax the measures that we have in place, we would risk wasting all the sacrifices and all the progress that has been made. And that would risk a quick return to another lockdown with all the threat to life that a second peak of the virus would bring and all the economic damage that a second lockdown would carry. So we need to be patient a while longer. So please, please, stay home, save lives and protect the NHS so we can safely return to life as close to normal as possible as soon as possible.